Welcome to another edition of Now You're Cooking. Today we're going to be linking up with Paul. He's going to be making for us a ham and broccoli cheesy rice casserole. Let's go check him out and see what it's all about. Paul! Hey, Saleh. Nice to see you, man. Come on in. Thanks, man. Paul, thanks again for having us. Tell us off the bat about this ham and broccoli cheesy rice casserole. Well, it's funny, it's actually called a makafushet. A makafushet. Yes, a makafushet. It's made from leftover dishes. Right. You know Christmas time, you have a lot of cooking going lots on. Lots of cooking. Lots of cooking you do. You do a lot of different dishes. You do your palm, you do your turkey, you do your beef, you do your rice, you do your broccoli. Mm -hmm. You put together these ingredients and you make what is called a, a makafushet. All right, now I'm not much of a ham person. So what we could do as well, we can substitute. Well, it's something you can do it without the meat. This is something you can put here, you can put beef in there, you can put chicken in there, you can cut up a pastel and put in there. Yes, you can do that. You can use any leftover food. All right, now Paul, tell us a bit about the ingredients that we have here today. Well, Sonny, what we're using today is some leftover Spanish rice. We have some grated cheese, some broccoli florets. We have some cubed ham. We have some black pepper, salve, mustard, mayonnaise, onion, and garlic chopped up there. We have breadcrumbs to go to the top. And our star ingredient, Sunny, is the blue band and golden ray margarine. That's right, and of course, you know, no trans fat whatsoever, wow. full of vegetable oil, vitamins yep. A, D, and E things to make the body look nice, yep. feel nice, and operate so at optimum speed. Yes, Sunny. That's what we're talking about. So let's get straight into it. Let's now. get into it, man. All right, Paul. So we have our chopped onion or garlic or chopped ham. I was just in the golden ray, the blue band. What is the next step? The next step, Sunny, is that you take two tablespoons of the golden ray margarine. On the packaging of the golden ray margarine, the tablespoons are clearly marked out. All right. If you peel the package back, it's clearly marked out here. We're also going to be adding a quarter brick of the blue band margarine. Also, also clearly marked out. Also clearly marked out on the packaging. Nice, man. So let's get sorting, Sunny. Right away? Yes. So the first thing, Sunny, we're going to add our blue band margarine to the pot. Nice. Oh my goodness, look how this thing starts to sizzle when it touch down now, man. Right. With that sizzling there, we're going to add our golden ray margarine. All right, and folks, you at home, you don't want to make sure that the fire is too hot because you don't want to burn off your golden ray and your blue band. All right? Looking good, Sunny. Now we're going to add our chopped onions and garlic. Mm hmm Now when you're adding these onions and the garlic to this batter that we have going on here right now, this is fantastic because you know the golden ray, the blue band, 100% vegetable oils, no trans fat, so this is really nice and smooth. Right, so you see our onions are sorting pretty good there now. Let's add our chopped ham. Mm-hmm. Leave that to sort it for like about two minutes, Tony. You cover the pot and leave it here for two minutes. Fantastic. All right, Paul, so it's time to put the casserole together. Yes, Tony, we're going to mix up all the ingredients here together. All right, we're let's start, start with the rice now. Yes, start with the rice. Nice. Right. Cheese? Half of the cheese, Tony. The next half is for garnishing. Okay. Good. Let me come in there with the ham. I'm going to be mixing all of this stuff together. You can, can add the broccoli. Okay. Yes, yeah, son. Just need to mix in all of this. I'm going to add some egg in here too? Yes, the egg is needed to give it some moisture. I'm folding all of this together. A little pinch of salt. Oh, yes. Just a taste, eh? Mm -hmm. Mustard. Yes, the mustard and we need some mayonnaise. Nice. Everything is coming together. Good. Well, you know, I must say a little black pepper yes, here. Sir. A little bump and grind. No more than four bounces, Sonny. No more than four. No more than four. Yeah. Ah. That should do it. Right, that should do it. Nice. And this is looking really lovely. You know, this this is what stuff. we mean when we say making home cooking easy. Look at how simple it is. Look at the colors. Look at the energy we have in the room right now. Yes. And of course, your blue band and the golden ray. Looks good, Sonny. All right, so this is just about ready? Just about ready. Sir. So the next step is to the oven. Yes, sir. We're going to put it in the baking dish. Mm -hmm. We're going to top it off with some breadcrumbs. Right. And then we're going to use the remainder of cheese. Top it off and into the oven. Now remember, the oven has to be heated at 375 degrees. And we're going to bake for about 25 to 30 25 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes, and then we're good. Simple. Anybody could do it. Yes, sir. Now you're cooking, yes. man.
Paul, I must say it's been a pleasure working with you. The casseroles are out and it smells fantastic. Thank you very much, Sammy. Now watch me. I already have my piece, you know. You missing yours. Let me take out my piece, Sammy. All right. And of course, you folks at home, make sure to like up the fan page, like up the Facebook page. Go check us out online at www.nowyourcooking.com and get all the recipes. We are making home cooking easy. Now, we taste. Paul. Cheers. Yes, man. My goodness. Paul, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This is delicious. Super.